Hey guys, welcome to Tropical Flower Gardening. I am Dr. Manisha. Guys, today's video is on the Stachyter Feta plant. This, also, this plant is also known by names like Blue Snake Weed, Blue Porter Weed, Brazilian Tea Plant and Porter Weed Plant. This plant belongs to the Verbena family and is also known as False Verbena. This perennial shrub is a very attractive plant due to its spiral spikes that have many tiny flowers which act as a magnet for butterflies, hummingbirds and sunbirds. This plant can grow to reach a height of 5 to 6 feet but it can be pruned to maintain a any desired size and shape. This plant loves sunlight but can be grown in partial sunlight also. The flowers, even though small, are attractive, eye-catching and attract a variety of butterflies as well as sunbirds who love the sweet nectar of the flowers. The flowers are born on long, slender, curved, terminal spikes and are tiny, tubular, have five petals and a white throat. Flowers open only for a day but are a source of nectar not only for different species of butterflies but also for birds, bees and other pollinators. The leaves of this plant are dark green, ovate and have serrated margins. This plant is easy to grow and maintain and it is also one of the best ornamental plants for landscaping as it blooms non-stop and looks very beautiful. This plant needs a well draining soil. Do keep the soil moist by daily watering. This plant is quite drought tolerant once established in soil. Stachytar Feta plant also flowers repeatedly throughout the year in the tropical climate. Apart from the blue color, flowers also come in reddish pink or coral colors. Guys, I have both the colored plants in my garden and I am growing them in the ground near the porch and they are always flowering attracting lots of butterflies and sunbirds. It's a lot of fun to watch the sunbirds flitting about these plants. In fact, these plants are a playground for these sunbirds. But guys, sunbirds are rather shy and fly away if they sense any movement. Hence, I am unable to capture these movements on my camera as my camera does not have a very good zoom lens. This plant can also be easily grown in any, in any large container. It doesn't require any special care or any special fertilizers. You can give any locally available organic fertilizers to the plant. I usually give cow dung manure, vermi compost, neem cake fertilizer and compost to all my plants every two months or so. Propagation of this plant is from stem cutting and from seeds. This plant is also quite resistant to pests and disease. Stachy tarfita makes an excellent specimen or accent plant. It is also used in butterfly gardens. The flowers and leaves of this plant are edible. Flowers are eaten raw and are used for seasoning soups and stews. The leaves are dried and used to make tea or brewed, brewed into beer, hence the name pot weed. This plant also has medicinal benefits and in few countries, leaves and stems are used to make tea called Brazilian tea which has antifungal, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties and it is used uh, in treatment of some medical ailments. And guys, with that we come to the end of this video. Please post your comments, like and share this video and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care and happy gardening.